In this video, I told an AI to make me an obby and I followed its directions step by step. The end result was crazy. If you're interested in these types of videos, comment down below, like, and subscribe. Now, let's see what this AI does. Alright guys, so I just asked the AI how do I make an obby in Roblox, and it spit out two paragraphs. The first one is to make a game pass, while the second one is to actually make a game. We're gonna follow this one. Alright, so the first instruction was go to the Roblox website and sign in, which we already did and click on the create tab in the top menu, which probably means this. Okay, so it said select games from the left hand menu. Probably just means click this button. And it says use the Roblox Studio Editor to build your obstacle course. You can use various bricks, shapes, and other objects to create your course. So I'm going to ask the AI, how should I design this obstacle course? And let's see what it says. Okay, so it basically gave me a set of instructions to follow in order to design my obby. So it first said start with a theme. So I have to choose a theme for my obby, such as a jungle space or medieval castle. Okay, well, let's just be basic and let's just choose this base plate. Create a clear path. So it needs to have a clear start and end point. Okay, so we'll just do this. We'll take this, we'll duplicate it, and we'll put it all the way over here. This will be the start point, and this will be the end point. And also, I'm gonna take this base plate and I'm going to scale it down. All right, and so that looks good to me. And to really designate the start and end areas, I'm going to rename these. Start and end. All right, so now I wanna know what kinds of obstacles I should use. So I'm gonna ask it that question. Alright, so it basically gave me five examples of obstacles that I could use. And for this video, I think I'm just going to pick a few of them. So let's see, jumping puzzles, gaps that players need to jump over, spinning blades. Okay, well, how about we start with that, spinning blades. Let's ask the AI, how do I script this? Alright guys, so I asked it my question and it literally told me step by step along with some code regarding what to do. So let's see, create a spinning blade object, use a part object and set its shape to cylinder, then create a script that rotates the cylinder continuously. Okay, so we'll go back into our Roblox, we'll go part and set the shape to cylinder and we'll want to rotate it and let's see let's make it red we'll make it a little bit bigger all right and now let's see what else it said create a kill function a function that detects when a player character touches a spinning blade then removes it from the game okay so i've already looked at this code and everything here is okay from what it looks like except for this part which, when I said kill player, I didn't mean remove it from the game. <laughs> That's like kicking the player. We don't want that. We want them to die. So we want to set their health to zero. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the code. And I'm going to create a script and paste it in. And as you can see, everything pasted without any red lines. So we know that the script is valid. Let's just play the game and see what it does. Oh wow, whoa, hey AI, what did you do? <laughs> Look at this, it's, it's running away. Hey, oh, oh, I think we just beat our obby. I think we just, okay. Okay, so that was actually my fault. I forgot to anchor the part. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Oh, it's spinning now. Oh my gosh, it's spinning. I didn't even write this code. This should kick me from the game. See what happens if we touch. Oh, nothing happened. What? Okay, let's go right into the cylinder. Still nothing happened. That's weird. 
Hmm. All right, so basically I looked into the script and everything looks fine except this is kind of out of order. So basically what the script is going to do is it's literally going to rotate the blade continuously as it says right here. But because this is a while true, this will continue happening and it won't have a chance to get into this code. So to fix that, all we have to do is control X and control V, put it right there. And now all of this code will run before the while loop and that should fix it. And now let's see what happens. So we have our brick and we'll touch it. And there we go. We're gone. Huh. I thought it would have kicked me from the game, but it turns out it actually killed me. Or maybe it did kick me from the game because I'm not responding. Okay. That's pretty cool. I didn't even have to code much. All right. So basically so far, what we know is the AI can indeed code and it can make a functioning script, but it does need a little bit of help. So now we've got a rotating brick. Now let's try a different thing. Let's try to ask the AI, let's see. Hmm, gaps that players need to jump over, moving platforms or other challenges that require precise jumping. Okay, how about I do this? All right, so it basically spit out the same code as before, the kill player code. And what that basically means is I can just, I can basically just make a new part. And since that one's gonna spin, I'm gonna leave a little bit of room and I'll rotate this, set it to red. And let's do 090, zero, zero. Let's scale this up, let's make it a little bit wider, and let's add that code that the AI just provided into our brick. So copy code, paste it, and let's see what this does. So if I touch this, it should kill me. If I touch that, it should also kill me. Okay, and there's the red brick that I'm supposed to jump over. Oh, touched it and it killed me. Awesome, so it works. I already know how to duplicate this, but let's see, can the AI make this any more advanced? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this a couple times. Let's make it more like an Avi. Okay, I'll move this, I'll take these, I'll duplicate them. Okay, and then I think I'll move this guy a little bit further. So now we've got two stages in our Avi. And, hmm, can the AI do anything to make this even better? Let's see. Okay, so for our, fa for our final test, what we're going to do, we're going to do this dexterity test. Navigating through a series of spinning blades or avoiding obstacles. So we already know the spinning blades part, but what about this conveyor belt stuff? Let's ask the question and let's see what it says. All right, so it looks like it's done. And wow, it actually gave quite a lot. And it even used motor 60s. So let's see what this will do. So it said, create a conveyor belt object. Use a part object, so a part object, and set its shape to a long, thin rectangle. So that just means scale, long, thin rectangle. Hmm. How thin? Well. If it's the moving surface of the conveyor belt, then it should probably be thick enough so that the player can actually move on it. Okay. And we'll move it right here. We'll take this and go here. And this will be the conveyor belt. We'll make it green. So it said create a motor object. Use a motor 60 object. So motor 60. Attach the motor to the conveyor belt and set the part zero property to the conveyor belt. So boom, that's what that means. And we can rename this to conveyor just so we don't get confused. And set up the motor in your script, set the C0 property to a desired rotation value to rotate it and set the C. Okay, so that's basically all just the code that it gave us. So we will go here, we'll go here, we'll go here, and we'll copy it. Okay. 
I have no idea what this is gonna do. <laughs> okay. And I did realize that I put two spawn locations. So what we'll do is I think instead we'll just, for testing purposes, we'll get rid of the end and we'll just put it right here so we can just go right here. And nothing happened. What? The AI told me to code it and I coded it, but nothing happened. Hmm. Hmm. I don't get it. Robot, you failed me. Come on, robot. Well, let's just mess around and see what happens. Now, is my character moving? No, it's not. Well, its script is working, but it's not really doing anything. Hmm, okay. All right, so I actually looked into this and it turns out that it's missing one small important detail. Setting the part one to you. And there you go, Wow! The conveyor belt is now working. Huh, but I can't seem to turn. I can't seem to jump can't do much but hey it's working all right guys so I hope you enjoyed this video in this video we learned that AI is capable of making a Roblox obby but it does need some scripter support if you enjoyed this video please leave a like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video